Hello everyone and welcome back to Control. This is episode 7. Last time we ended up coming face to face with Dylan, our brother, Dylan Faden, the prime candidate to be the director, but we took that job from him. Uh, we navigated the Panopticon uh, and the P6 cell, and he's eventually uh, come here to surrender himself, where he has succumbed to the powers of the Hiss, um, but he's grateful for it, apparently. He feels great. So he's got the power of the Hiss, I've got the power of Polaris, I guess. Um, but he hates Polaris, because he thinks that we're being used by everybody. Uh, so I'm really interested to see how this dynamic between brother and sister is going to go, where one is the opposing force, or at least being semi-controlled by the opposing force, and then the other one, Jesse, is like, well, I was, I only came here to reunite with you, so let's get along, please. We'll see, we'll, we'll just have to see how this goes, but it was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we also got into the old growth mission to collect mold samples and stuff like that for, um for one of the rude scientist ladies uh, way downstairs, uh, which was also pretty neat. But this time, uh, we'll be looking in our missions, which is, um, we've got the face of the enemy, which is our main one, but we've also got a bunch of side missions to do that we've been given. So we've been given old friends uh, to defeat uh, Arisha's His Corrupted Squad. Uh, we've got to apparently use a token on the jukebox, which takes us to a very... Well, it's going to take us somewhere. Um, mold removal. We do still need to eliminate mold hosts in specific areas. Uh, and then also assisting the agent in the Panopticon cell um, <laughs> on the fourth floor because he... Um, Nobody showed up for to, to swap shifts with him. I actually might we might look into doing this one because I don't this one feels like it could potentially be urgent. It feels like it could potentially be, be an urgent one. Um because he's like, I can't stare at this thing any longer, and we should find him a replacement. Uh, before I leave, however, uh we do have our red triangle with Dylan, so I am assuming that there's gonna be some dialogue here to get from him. So let's have a listen to what this his consumed man has got to say. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. Oh, it was a mixture. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. <laughs> the hell was that? Was he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. Ah, okay, we've just got our, our weird brother that's going, I had a dream. Don't you think it's weird that our names could both be names for anyone? It's still red, so... Can we get some more? There's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here, so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. Oh, you're a very good storyteller, Dylan. <laughs> 
really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or maybe it was another dream already. Or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. And something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Man, they're really like selling the the totally unhinged, like not quite their personality of Dylan. It's like it's totally creepy and unsettling to just be like face to face with him and they're totally like I totally get what they're trying to do. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Again. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying that he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. Is he talking that will never happen. Is he talking about the is he talking about the incantation? Whereas like the hiss was like let in, the president was then um you know, under the control of the hiss and then was doing the incantation, everyone was hearing the words, and the more he spoke, the more that they wanted to let the hiss in as well. It seems to be the case. I guess we'll just keep talking to him to get new dialogue until the red triangle goes away. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. <laughs> Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place, and there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door, and he told me that there are many worlds, side by side, on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Through time, 
the thunders will distort you. He's got so much dialogue to give of his crazy ramblings. Once more with feeling. <laughs> Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. How did you know? In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. God. This very dream. He said just now. And repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Interesting. Is he still in there? Or is that, this the hiss playing mind games? That did sound like... I don't know. There we go. No triangle. That did definitely sound like a Dylan on the outside going like, I'm in here. There you go. So we've got some more dialogue from him, which was, uh, all of those were very interesting and creepy and unsettling all, all in one. Uh, but it looks like I have to go to, I need to go to the Panopticon once again, so we can deal with, uh, where are we going? Panopticon. So we can help this guy get uh, a shift swap. I need to find someone, I assume, uh, to, to bring in. But now that I don't have to go after Dylan, so it's not like a time urgent thing, we should be able to go back to him and get him some help, I assume. Uh, he's on the fourth floor. That almost did not jump correctly because I had to like climb on a ledge. Getting levitate is works wonders for when you're in an area that you have already been to. No, that's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> Climbing up the ledge is dangerous. Can destroy my chances at levitating. There we go. Three. Oh, that's not a. Doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> nice. All right, level four. Hello. Anyone here? being healed. Where's the sphere at? Oh, actually. Come here. No! No! You're supposed to be mine. Sphere around here somewhere? There you are. More healing. Now you two play nice. Oh, you're dead. Never mind. No. You behave yourself, okay? 
you will slowly die. Um, I need to go... Well, we're on the fourth floor. So I guess I'll just go this way. Can I get a, like, a super speed ability so I can like sprint faster than this? Just, instead of just having to dash. Oh, hang on. I could have just fast traveled here. Oops. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. I'm gonna fast traveled right next to him. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes, they can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus, right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. If this was my shift, I would just do one eye at a time. I would just do like one eye at a time, because that way when one eye gets tired, you just switch to the next one. And then when that eye gets tired, you just switch to the next one. Because there's, there's, there is a period of time where both eyes will be open. And then you won't, you know... You'll be fine. Okay, Upper Panopticon is where we want to travel back to. Cool. Oh, wow. Fast traveling within the panop the containment sector itself is was instantaneous. That was quick. Um, yeah, like he's like my eyes. I'm like, sir, just close one of them. At this time, sir. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip. Oh shit! I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There, done, door, open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. <laughs> I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Uh, return to Philip. Okay. Oh, hopefully it's not us that replace him. Dude, instantaneous fast travel. Love to see it. Alright. Hey, buddy. Jesse! I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Philip? Oh shit. Philip? <gasps> Whoa! Did it just eat him? If I look away, it hurts me. No! Imagine being here for a whole day. Ooh. Former. It's just symbols. Imagine being there for a whole day. Board, but I can't understand it. The fuck? Ah! It's shooting black holes. Holy shit! Former. Whoa, dude. Imagine like watching that fridge for a whole day. Only to then get eaten right, right as you're about to be saved. Oh sh! My God. Oh, you can send the, you can send the void back. Holy shit! This is insane, dude. 
So this th whoa! So this thing is talking to me. <laughs> whoa! What's the oh, hang on. Oh, that's just death. Okay, don't go down there. Ah! Trying to get the orb. Why won't you give me the orb? Shit, I need that. For some reason, like, even though I was, like, right in front of it, it wouldn't give me the orb to throw back. That was, uh, that was a bit weird. Dude, this is insane. So the former is speaking to us in a similar sense of like the it's like similar to how the board communicates, but we're in like a, a completely different astral plane. Hello. I'll rescue you. Jesse, the bridge is doing something. Ah, oh, you can't open the door early. Philip. Uh, this is the this is the fridge with the uh, this is the fridge with the children's drawings on them uh, that we read the document about that she tried to sell to like move on. Sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Dude, the sense of scale on this thing is insane. Stabs this time. <laughs> Play ball. Yep. Pick up the void ball, man. Okay, pick up the box that's heaps far away. Dude! Ooh, buddy, chill out! It's okay! Fuck. I'm just here to end you, it's okay. <laughs> Dude. Wait. There's no black pyramid here. Yeah. We're in a we're in a different kind of astral plane here. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? God damn the drawings, man. Look at that. Pretty sure that's the thing that we were just fighting. Mommy going to heaven in the car crash. Uh, what was the... Let's have a look. Uh, it would have been a case file. Let's read the refrigerator procedures. Arctic Queen. Oh, no, hang on. This is something else. This is a different fridge, but it's got the children's drawings on it. Uh, an Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by blank. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in apartment blank, rented by a man named Blank. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Blank, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, Blank PM, retained ownership of the item until 1974, when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Um, so, 
Just give me a sec. So we got a look. Yeah, refrigerator. Yeah, here's another one. Oh, no, it is the same thing. Refrigerator supplement. Had his crayons out. He was drawing at the table, had his crayons out. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back, started digging. The city workers found him beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. But then he thought about trying to move on. Yeah, there we go. So this this is the same, same fridge. Poor Philip, rest in peace. Uh, we've got some more stuff to read in research and records as well of the employee incident. Incident in question occurred on blank and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had blank his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands to desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. <laughs> and we've also got a hotline, which is about the, which is about the former. Or I just get blinded by this white light. The former dissent is back, not gone. It is previous disappointment and is not part of the board slash us. We apologize slash deny all knowledge for the inconvenience. You will see, face the former, it is stealing slash linking altered items. It builds a competition slash not us. You must espionage slash destroy when possible slash inevitable. Do not believe slash get hyped about the former's lies slash ads. We provide and offer a better bonus package slash health plan. If you leave, you will be free slash dead. And you will never work slash exist in this torn slash cosmic reality again yes so that's a that's essentially translating to you can't go work for this other company or we will destroy you i wish my glasses didn't have such a glare all the time it really bugs me when we're looking at a white screen and it just completely just removes my eyesight i need these bad boys to see but then you can't see what i see because it's just like this all the time Blinding white light. Do I need to do I need to get some anti-glare prescription glasses or something so I can look at a goddamn screen <laughs> without it being just removed? Alright, well, let's speak with Langston and tell him oops, uh Philip got eaten by the fridge, I think. A sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? You do when you're the director. I am wound up in the astral plane. This... thing was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. 
my life just got a whole lot easier. <laughs> nice. All right. We should complete fridge duty, but we've got more duties to do. Here, like always. Nice. Uh, so I don't think we've gotten anything added. There we go. Langston's Runaways. Cleanse and contain the Japanese paper lantern, the traffic light, the hand chair, and the moving letters. Uh, so he's got more stuff to do. I don't know if... Th is there a location of these? Ah, uh, they have been... Okay, so... Moving letters in dead letters, obviously. Medical wing. One in the sealed threshold hall. So one in breaches, huh? the panopticon. Life's a breach, huh? The traffic light. <laughs> life's a breach. <laughs> Nice. Um, I'm not sure how often and when side quests will come into things. I'd like to, I'd like to juggle doing an assortment of them because I don't know if they're timed. I don't know if they run out. Uh, like if you go, move too far in the main quest, older ones will disappear. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'd like to make sure that I actually uh, complete them because I think the rewards are uh, definitely definitely worth it. I might try and rec uh, do them like in uh, in order of when they come in. Uh, so it, it looks like it might already be organized by like an order of like priority maybe. Um, so we will we will see. Uh, this is all all in the maintenance sector as well for doing old friends. So it looks like I've got some some work to do. So I reckon we'll do old friends because that's come in now. So all we have to do is really just go to the maintenance sector for that one. Um, I have a bunch of ability points, so I think I might also upgrade that. Um, I've got four points, and I'm thinking I might give myself some more levitation duration. And ground slam damage. Sounds good. Maintenance. Now, there's one in the Black Rock Quarry, but everything is pretty, pretty close to each other, which is actually quite nice. All right, I'm going to run around and I guess we'll deal with some, some of the old friends of Arish. We're fast traveling to an area where there is one, so I'm wondering if it's just going to be here. Oh, instantly. There you go. It's Guy! Watch out, everyone. It's Guy. How dare you. Come, come back here. Ranger buddies. Where I should find the others. Oh, look at his face. Holy shit. So, like, protecting his. Oh, I have to disappear. It's like protecting his body with, like. Holy shit. That's crazy. Oh, there's one. Um, and then I guess as soon as you just run into an area, the next ones will just reveal themselves. So. I guess they make it. Um. <sighs> as easy as possible. Forget that I don't- who needs stairs anymore when you have levitate? Hello everybody. I already interacted with this Rangers before. Squad, Charlie 7 returned yes. from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0, 0500 building. You already done that. <laughs> um, okay, Blackrock Processing, hello? Who's in here? There you are. Hazard! Oh, there's people in here. Shotgun best weapon, bitch! Ah. Pouch for a reach. Done. You good son? You're alive, that's all that matters. Um it's cool that they're just a fight on their own, and I don't have to worry about, like, some bullshit, like, squad coming in. 
And this takes us to... Hmm. Probably should just travel to ventilation for this one, to be fair. But I guess we can take this to the Black Rock Quarry. We do need to go there anyway for another one. I'm glad that uh, it seems that like these side missions are not very like time consuming as well. Like you can run around and have like some fun fights, but it looks like you can smash this stuff out quite efficiently, which I which I appreciate. So it's not like these side quests that just run you around forever. Uh, there's apparently one in here, but we should probably we'll focus before we jump down there. We'll focus on heading to. Black Rock Quarry, which we could have fast traveled <laughs> to if we wanted. Okay. Let's fast travel to Quarry Entrance. Even though we're still technically in the same area, this one does have a loading screen. So I guess when you're like fast traveling to ones in close proximity, it's a bit more instantaneous. Oh no, it's got these things. Oh, there's Thompson. Get eaten by one of those things. Stop protecting him. Are they eating him? Or no, they're just coming for me. Okay, that's that one done. Um, now if I go to ventilation, that'll give me another one. Arish, all your old friends, man. They're pushovers. No wonder they died. <laughs> um, where are we go from? Where do we go from here? I also need to check back in with uh, Artie again as well. Oh no, there's more this time. I spoke too soon. I need to check in with Artie and see if he's got more jobs for me. Because I finished talking to the plants last time. Alright, show. More like... Dead. Alright, now from ventilation... Should be able to go through to energy. Oh, I can go in here now. Yes. I can get this thing out of my way. <laughs> Why can't fucking? Nice. I can go in here. Oh. It's so blinding. Dodge efficiency. Um, let me actually have a look. Change our loot out. Launch energy cost, health. Evade energy cost. Looking pretty pretty tasty. Uh, our weapon mods are already almost completely done again. Headshot damage of the shatter. Mm. Can you really do the headshots though? What if we just fire more projectiles? We're firing like... Nine extra projectiles, minus 29% spread. I think that's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Pretty damn good indeed. Just getting rid of any duplicates that I already have one in the higher tier. Is that all that are found in here? Lovely. This way takes me through to energy converters. I saw that that door was green. Let me in. Thank you. Remus. You can't dodge my shit forever. more tough than the rest, aren't you? I have 
a levitating battle? We can do it. We can have a levitating battle if you want. Me? I'll fuck you up. Yeah, bitch. Uh, and now the coolant pumps. I need to do more of these executive things. We, we literally did one, and then every time another one's popped up, I've been busy. Busy kicking ass. Or in the middle of, like, talking to someone. Um, alright, where do I want to go from here? To get to this last one. The Furnas Chamber. The Furnas Chamber. Take us through the cool pumps. Is this a thing that I can go in? Oh. Hello. Oh. Wait a minute. This is new up here. I haven't been up here before. Alright, cool. This is all mold shit. Maybe there's a mold person that I can take care of up here. Hello? No, is there any mold up here that I can deal with? Hmm. Why else can I come up here? Just for a... literally just for an upgrade? That doesn't feel right. Really. Oh. Okay. Bit underwhelming. Whoa, hello. What the fuck? Oh, you're an invisible one. Oh, you're not even the boss. You're just an enemy. What the fuck? All of them. Oh no, that just didn't have a name. I saw it coming though. Weird. I should get these back to him. Just didn't have a name. It was just a health bar. All right. Back to Central Executive. Chat to a Reach. Yeah. Because these side quests don't take very long. Uh, I'm happy to like come like smash through them as they come. It's better to do that instead of having them all like pile up, I think. What's new? Kill all your buddies. Here are the pouches. I found six. Oh well, that's all of them. Not counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... Well, it's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. Now, the story's confidential, but, uh... Well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a uh, werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh man, we nearly bit it that night. <laughs> well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? Huh? Thought I could do more good here. And somebody's gotta protect the people who protect everybody else, right? Nice. Old friends. Come to to Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Yeah, you keep saying that, buddy. 
Uh, we now have three points, and I think with that, we're going to upgrade our melee damage. Uh, actually, hmm. Launch damage. I really do be sleeping on C's duration quite a bit. But, uh... I'll, I'll level that up eventually. It's just not high on my priority list with everything else right now. I like all the other, <laughs> all of the other missions instead. Uh, we've got mold hosts in ritual division, central research, and parapsychology. Langston's runaways. All right, let's have a look at mold removal. Um. In research. Okay, wonderful. Um, just going to take a brief break and then we'll jump into some more side missions. Okay, let's eliminate some mold hosts in central research. Uh, we've done up there already. We've done it, we killed one in there. Um, so I guess we just look around for any evidence. I feel like this one's gonna maybe might take a little bit longer than other ones because it requires us to enter some very specific spots where we have to kind of search for mold compared to compared to other places where it's just like the enemies just reveal themselves straight away. We've just run past a mold spot though, so I assume there we go. Aha! Just look for the evidence of mold! Ha! Surprise! Okay. That's the copyrighted music room. Alright, so it looks like there might be like three locations in each of these areas to find them. For some more mold. Oh, found you in the toilets. Um, have a seat. Is this toilet occupied? It ain't anymore. Hey. All right, that's clear. Now it's ritual division and parapsychology. in here. I can't. Oh. Oh. The benefits of being able to levitate now. So good. Guys, I need to use this control point. I need to go home. Okay, you guys have to let me go. You guys have to let me go now, please. Okay, otherwise I throw chairs and rockets at you. I don't get to choose which one. Just whichever one comes into my hand. Okay, now leave me alone, please. Um, I'm heading to... Parapsychology. Because I've got mold to kill. Because it's disgusting. Down this way. Let's take a piece of... Okay. I was going to take a piece of brain with me, but I guess we're doing it this way. I have chair instead. Okay, let's look for some mold. Found you. I didn't think I'd be able to uh, <laughs> climb up on something while holding an object, but that's okay. Oh, hang on, the mold trail has stopped, or... no, there we go. 
You you eating good tonight, Nigga. Wonderful. Oh, we're in this room. Okay. It's just outside of power psychology, so it looks like it can extend a little bit. Uh, in here. For mold, anybody? Anybody seen some mold? None in the hypnosis lamp. Just wondering if it could be up there. Whether I should keep going this way. down this way a bit. This still does kind of put itself in parapsychology, maybe? Now we're in luck and probability. We're back in central research. Okay. Not this way. I don't know if there'll be anything down here. This goes to parakinesiology. I still though, hold on. Aha! Eat this! That was parapsychology. Okay, ritual division time. It's ritual division from here. Ritual division, please. And this one's done. This one has a little less, like, cool stuff. Because the other one was, like, fighting against, like, named enemies. Which was neat. This is more just, like, rinse and repeat mold enemies, but they're kind of tucked away in some corners somewhere, you know? Hello? Is anyone in this office? I'll see myself in, I guess. God, that's such a weird reflection. <laughs> when you hold it at that angle, how they how they decide to, I guess, animate the reflection in the. Oh, that's so weird. Hello. Oh, there's a file up here and everything. Nice, some correspondence. We haven't been up here before, so there you go, that's good. Boom! Sorry, kid. Nothing personal. But I've got files to read. And specifically these film reels to throw out the window. Nice. Cool. We can chill up here. I love what, like, the traversal that you can do, especially with, like, levitate and dashing. You get to places that you probably wouldn't even consider. That's neat. Like, I would not have even seen this office up here. Normally. BAM! From a great height. It took all my energy to do that. Dare you get healed. Stop that.
Thank you, and good night. Uh, looks like the synchronicity lamp has some mold in it, too. This is a new place I have not been to before either. Cool, synchronicity lab. Let's see if we collect some more files and documentation in here and then we'll do a bit of a read through. Wild party, huh? Mirror testing. Let me in. Oh, there he is. Hello. Welcome. Guess we'll head down. Oh, there's more mold over there. Lovely. synchronicity experiment ah yes being surrounded by CRT TVs the like the the white noise would be palpable I don't think that would be a fun time in any capacity just be like that uh, that ring that the TVs have as well same time just all around unenjoyable Ooh, altered item inside access restricted to research personnel I have clearance level for this why'd they keep an altered item here Self-reflection. You ever just be focusing on one mission and you just end up waltzing right into another? I like that. Debrief for mirror... Debrief for mirror excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. It's the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Fuck, he's talking in reverse! He has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. Holy fuck, dude. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately... Three hours in the mirror, he walks out, and he's speaking in reverse. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? Dude, that's nuts. I would be so terrified if I was like, just all of a sudden just talking in reverse. You'd always have to record yourself and then open up an app that just plays it backwards. Crazy. What are we interacting with here? Ah, the mirror, okay. I guess we should take a read. Have a look through this. Alright, let's open this up. I'm gonna go cleanse the mirror, I suppose. Does this open up the main door? So eerie in here. How do we open this main door? Maybe there's a sequence to the the buttons that you have to press. Let's have a read through the collectibles we just picked up because it might actually let us know. Okay, this is the first one we picked up before. Carla, file received. Thank you for the file. It was very helpful. I've re-archived it with BlackRock Research in case you need to refer to them again. Yes, the video shoots are always interesting. I expect my availability for those to decrease in the future, however, as my analysis of this newly discovered BlackRock variant is reaching a critical point. I hope you will be able to attend them still. Darling seems to be under a lot of pressure lately, and I'm sure he would appreciate any support you can provide. Regarding the analysis you provided, I do not have any questions. Thank you for the expeditious, expeditious, expeditious delivery, Dr. Carla Vaughan. Uh, research and records. Okay, we've got a bunch here. So uh, I can't remember the order in which we picked them up, but we'll read the mirrors last because they seem to be the most relevant. Uh, examination of paranormal topics. Experimentation with global synchronicity. 
As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically... Sorry, excuse me. Ooh, identically decorated. That was like a rough hiccup, you know, and it's like, it just affects your entire body. It's like, and then I die. <laughs> the hypothesis was that by identically uh, altering the decor of every room, and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single deferring television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seems like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil as one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of blank. Psychological examination of the agents provided the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way Bree predicted. So they synced to the people instead of the TVs. Rituals. Tangible effects of rituals. Obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, hoarding, anxiety disorders. While certain manifestations of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes the individuals are simply performing blank called rituals. The blank of rituals can vary. Numerology, dream logic, forfeiture, verbal formulae, repetitive action, and casual tethering are just some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as pulling the light switch cord three times to enter the motel, but some are erratic. While most people engage in minor rituals every day, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the results of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of the paranatural world and when located should be considered for employment at the bureau okay mirror containment uh altered item 60 the mirror does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy the environment seen in the glass contains slight distinctions it is unknown why the mirror does this if there is any blank then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind, that it reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our reality with its own. While certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. For added security, a particular arrangement there you go. For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Okay, the mirror altered item. This proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanar, psychologically generated, or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while we possess the physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purpose might they use it for? Can they walk through into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is blank. Interesting. All right, so there's a specific, there is a specific order in which these must be engaged with, of which uh, I do not know. Um. Wait, what the hell happened there? I was just. Is weird. I was just like automatically crouching. Is there a crouch in this game? <sighs> There's a crouch. I thought I was doing that by accident. Look at me doing the complete opposite of stealth in this game. So some of these panels will need to be rearranged and then we can open and then that door will open apparently. Hmm. So they need to be opened or closed in a specific order. What do these shutters do? Try to look for clues of the... Maybe an order. 
like do you have to do maybe the first one on each side and then the second one and then the third one instead of you know but maybe it's like maybe I'll also do this one oh hang on Hang on, I think the clue is in the in on this, right? Hang on. Looks like there's a mirror in there. Yes. The mirror has two open, one closed on that side. Oh, this is good. This is clever. How it plays into how it's not entirely accurately represented. So uh, these two the mirror's here, so these two need to be open. This one needs to be closed. Oh, but it's also a reflection. Weird way to lock something up. Oh, I already had the the other side. Oh, I already had the other side done correctly. Weird. Um, two down, one. Yeah. All right, it's open. Oh, this is going to be cool. Oh, that was strange. Wait, that didn't sound right. Yeah, that's not good. Dude. Uh, uh, is there one in particular I need to get it to resemble, or are we just fuck we just fucking with it until it's? Uh, is there an image? Because there's multiple cubes, but I don't know if... <gasps> oh my god, is this going to play the tape, but the right way around, when he speaks? Oh my god, it is! Holy fuck, that's so clever! What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you. There's something in that fucking mirror. Dude, the mirror debrief, but backwards. Oh, that's crazy. So not only does he is he talk, uh, he's talking backwards, but he hears things backwards at the same time. Oh, that's wild. Um, the repetitive cube that we're seeing is, I think, that one. Oh, actually, maybe if we go through the mirror and we look at this TV, maybe the mirror on the other side has what it looks like and we just have to do either the same or the opposite. <gasps> no, I can't go back. Okay. <laughs> and then I break the mirror and then I've got no way home. Okay. Um, fuck it. Let's just... Dude, eventually, right... Eventually, if you crack the crack the code, you'll be able to get it. 
I'm a master hacker doing 5,000 combinations at once. <laughs> when you run your computer through the simulation. Come on, we can do it. I believe. Okay, unfortunately not. I don't know which one it is. Fine! Here's my clue, guys. And I also can't open this. Oh, it's specifically tied to that. I can get a thing if I solve the puzzle. I love how all the documentation is backwards. Oh, hang on. If that's... maybe... If it's mirrored... Oh, if it's mirrored, then that one should be correct anyway, because it wouldn't be mirrored vertically. Yeah. Hmm. Like, that's the, that's the one that we see the most of. But if I reverse that, we just put the cube on that side. I don't know. Let's just proceed with this. Maybe we'll come back. I mean, we've got to come back to leave. Dude, this is weird. Did you see that? Someone's in there. Oh, it's me. New clothes in there. But if you said Perithia. God, this is weird. Uh, my brain is melting. That's not good. Oh my god. This is fucking strange. You do my give me my photo mode. If only we in, if only we could do poses. Right? If only we could do poses, wouldn't that be fun? Poses would be great. So so funny when it goes just like oddly silent. Just give me some ambiance. Oh, Aha! Uh -huh. I'm fighting a sedge. Oh, this is so weird, dude.
There's one thing that they meant that they didn't do correctly in this though. Is they should have changed they should have changed Jesse's uh, dominant hand. Or like sorry, Esage's dominant hand. They should have changed it. So she's like left handed. Dude, you are really strong. I am fucked. I need you to summon some minions or something so I can get some health. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She has phases. Oh, she's got shield as well. for my energy to come back. That's bad. Shit. Running out of energy in this fight is a really bad idea. And I'm dead. <laughs> Whoopsh! Right to the head. Essage. No joke. Alright, let's do that fight but better this time. Confronting yourself in the mirror world, or maybe it's not yourself really, but there's a monster or something in here That um, oh, okay a monster or something in here That um, mirrors whatever's you know in the world Also the cubes on this side are, You know Mirrored, obviously. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need it to. I need it to potentially be the mirrored version of that. So I just need it to be. All right, I can remember that. I can remember that. Ooh, the mirror is now super evil looking. Maybe I just have to, uh, maybe I don't mirror it and I just have to do it exactly. Now I'm even more confused. I need to get there with that one being like that. This is okay. I just need to plan this effectively. Yes, there we go. I just needed to get rid of that other one. There you go. Launch efficiency and reload efficiency. Reload speed, 19. Reload speed while shielded. Um, I'll do that. Nice. C speed, launch energy cost, C speed. All right, I need to... I need energy recovery speed to go up here. So I'm gonna go for energy recovery speed in case I run out in that fight. Does a better job. Oh, 
that weapon it's like firing like missiles at me you had a cool new outfit though is this how we get a new outfit nothing but a pale imitation is this how we get a new outfit because we've done this before uh, when we've gone to a control point and gotten very curious at the outfit section <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna get all levitating on me now. Okay. ground pound me too. I got that. I got that as well. Samesies. Gotcha. That better be all of them. <laughs> that explains why they locked this mirror up. Self-reflection. How cool is that? Tell me that's like a costume that I can unlock though, right? Alright, well I guess we can leave now, right? Is there anything else to do in here? Cleanse the mirror. I guess we can just cleanse the mirror itself. I wonder if we get uh, anything out of it. There we go. I wanted to see if we can get some stuff. Oh, how weird. We specifically interact with all these things. What's the purpose here? We got that one synced up. Let's try and sync them up. Okay, that's close enough. Now this one. Oh, I've totally, that's totally synced, right?
Oh, it's like lagging just behind the other one. That's so cool. I, there's, I feel like there might be something to figure out there, though. I'm not sure. Oh, hang on, we got multimedia keeping secrets. We got threshold kids. Since little Topher is taking a trip with his father into the world outside our wonderful bureau, I think it's a good time to talk about secrets. Secrets. Can you tell me what a secret is. Uh, uh, it's something you hide from everyone so they don't get scared. Partially correct, Topher. A secret is something you don't tell anyone outside the bureau. Because people outside the bureau aren't ready for the truth of reality. Very good. When you tell someone a secret, you're hurting their brains very badly. Now, let's review what exactly is or isn't a secret. First, we have a rainbow. Secret or not secret? Not secret! Correct. And the true version of rainbows? Secret! Correct. Cats? Not secret. Cats are so secret. Correct. <laughs> and the alpine chimera? Not secret! Ah, uh, uh, Topher. Too many slip-ups and your father will have to go on vacation without you. You don't want to end up like Meg, do you? What? What happened to Meg? It's a secret. I'm not allowed to go outside anymore. Correct. Bro, Threshold Kids is fucked. Imagine if that episode was all in reverse, though. That's what I was kind of almost thinking would happen. We'd get a backwards Threshold Kids episode. Bureau was doing with this thing. Accidentally cleanse the mirror while I'm on the wrong side, and then I'm trapped. Nice. Well, it's cleansed now. This is gone. It's dealt with. Oh, we can still go in. Please tell me. That we get a fancy new outfit. Come on. Do we get that outfit? Wait, where's where's the outfits section? Hang on. Uh where do we change outfits? I was pretty sure that was you change it here. Wait a minute, Astral Constructs. No. I didn't make it up because I've seen I've seen outfits before. Strange. Alright, I'm gonna max out my health. And it costed plus two. Interesting. What melee damage at this point. Let's see if we can create some stuff. I can upgrade these this gear. I might upgrade our mod levels. Nice. We can upgrade even further, apparently, with shifting fragments. Mm -hmm. Random weapon mod for Prime. Nice. Alright. Health boost. Sick. Very 
already do have. Um, health boost is 36. Alright, well, I'll convert that to a health boost of 49%. Nice, that's good. My health is appreciated. Alright, well. Synchronicity Lab looks to be done for the most part. I've forgotten how to change costumes in this game, where the option is, because it definitely it definitely was on control points, I was I was fairly certain. Maybe it's only one certain specific control point, and it must be in central executive. Because I think that's where I saw it last. We'll have to have a look. Uh, the Victorian mirror altered item. This item should be kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror, oval in shape. The frame is made of ornately wrought brass. Uh, the item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transports individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images, some are blank, while some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a blank distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes to depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Blank has been observed in the test subject sent inside, believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. Definitely don't spend a few hours in there. Um, okay. Oh, another executive mission. I still need to do mold. I'm still needing to destroy some mold, so you have to bear with me while I do that first. Let me check in here. Oh. The Threshold Kids episode. Oh. The Threshold Kids episode is actually in this reality, but you can pick it up in the mirror world as well. Let me check the other room that has the... Yes. Alright, I want to see this. So maybe I need to mirror this in the other world. So only... All three on this one are going, and only one on this table. But if it is in the mirror dimension, it would be flipped, right? To being all three on this one, and only the middle one on the right. I think we need to line it up in the mirror world. We might not be... Our work might not be done yet. Let's have a look. Just not expecting that to pop in at that point. Maybe this is why we can still travel to and between the mirror. Let's check out this room. I don't think we're done yet. Okay, so... Have all these three going, and then only have the one in the middle going, on this one. Alternatively, have all three of these going, and then have the middle one going on this one. Maybe it'll open this door, I don't know. Mm. The fact that we can interact with them at all says a lot. I don't know if you have to sync them up to a particular point or just have it do... Mm. Maybe not. I was expecting something to happen there. smacking my face into a wall. It seemed like... It seems intentional. I will put a pin in that, because I'm not entirely convinced that it's completed, you know? Uh, right, I need to find this mold. In Ritual Division, please! No. What if I said no? I don't 
don't want to. No! Get blown up, son. Looking for mold, I'm too busy. So it'd be nice if like the mold cleared up from the areas that we'd already gone to before, because I don't want to like accidentally just be like, oh, I haven't been here yet. I think it must be in here. Yep, it's bathroom. Nice. Last one. I should let other hell know. Sick. There you go, never mind then. Under heel, I have completed the job. Uh, research. Uh, where's... Where's Underhill's lab? It's in research. Astral exhibition parapsychology. Oh, it's in central research, and then you have to go down the... I have to go down the pit in the ground, right. There isn't a control point down there? Well, there should be. Yeah, I forgot about that. We have to go down the... Go down the hole. Go down the hole. Geronimo! I found the hosts. They won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the locations. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. This woman has some incredible tunnel vision. Nice. Um, she's given us... Alright, new dialogue. Cool. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. Okay. So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. This woman has Dolores Umbridge energy. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. 
Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thank you for your time. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Lovely. All right. We've actually gotten through uh, quite a decent amount of the of the side missions, which is very nice. Uh, it's just Langston's Runaways as well to get. Uh, but I think we're going to jump in uh, to that one next time. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this episode of Control. Uh, helping out Arisha's friends, cleansing the mirror, uh, cleansing the fridge and seeing the former. That was uh, bizarre. Um, and now we've uh, defeated the the mold host. So got a little bit done. Uh, next time we'll take care of Langston's runaways and then get back on track uh, with Dylan of finding the prime candidate program. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Control, and I'll see you next time.